Steve, and then towards the back. Uh, Steve Ashburner, NBA.com. Uh, Kyrie, you've had a number of coaches in what's still a young career. Um, how is it that the coach you had tonight and for the last four months has been the right guy for you? Um, well, I've always felt like our management did a great job of hiring coaches. Um, you know, now what has happened of the result of them, I have no control over. Uh, but I know that when T. Lou was hired after David Black getting fired in the middle of the season and us dealing with that, um, I voiced a lot of emotion um, that that got back to not only to our our coaching staff but our, to our teammates, and we just grew from there. That that that's all that really happened as a mature professional, a maturing young young professional in this league. I just had to understand that things happen like that, and now you just move forward and how to figure it out is part of the journey and. And now we can tell that story that the Cleveland Cavaliers switched coaches in the middle of the season and still won an NBA championship. Towards the back, last one. Kyrie, Adam Jardy, the Columbus Dispatch. Uh, the shots seemed to be falling a little short for you guys early on and mm -hmm. the outside jumpers weren't coming. Was that a product of what it took just to get to this point? I'm not even going to lie to you. I, 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 I barely slept in the last two days. I was up just really, really... I don't think my mind has really contemplated so many scenarios ever in the last 48 hours. You know, you're thinking about, okay, uh, you know, win, loss, what you're going to do out there, what's the effect you're going to have on the game, what your teammates are going to do. And it was just so much going on in my mind that when I started out the game, I actually communicated with my teammates that, all right, I got to really just settle in to this moment. And I think it came uh, going into almost ending the second quarter. Um, that moment right there happened, and then I was like, okay, I'm fine. And all I was thinking about in the back of my mind was Mamba mentality. And just and Mamba mentality. That's all I was thinking. And everybody was wondering about your foot going into the game. Did that affect you at all in the game? Were you limited in any way physically? Uh, no. No. Um, I just, my toes won't look great in, in my future, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.